You only have one life. You ask yourself, who do you want to be? A better husband, father, friend, more effective leader and learner, a volunteer? You want to be something much greater than yourself. Welcome to our fraternity. For three centuries, men have bonded together and have taken an oath to live a life of integrity and brotherly love. Men committed to their families, to their communities, to those less fortunate, and to one another. My name is Kenneth Souders. I'm a past master at Prosperity Lodge number 567 from 2016 to 2020. I have coronary artery disease and it's worsening over time. I just, I'm going through a period of, they're called vasospasms, where the artery of the heart, the arteries leading to the heart close, they constrict, and it cuts off the air and blood flow to the heart. So I get really sick when I go through periods like that. I had a really bad period where it looked like it was a heart attack. That's when I ended up out of work on disability. Secretary at Salkin said, you would be good to reach out to the outreach program at the same time, that way they can also assist you. They called me the one day and they said, we have a check for you, we're gonna stop by the house. And I was surprised. It helped a lot. It got us out of a mess. Mm. The Ometer's Fund is basically set up. You'd have an Ometer in your, in your lodge. That Ometer would go out and see who's in hardship and who needs the outreach. They always say it's good men making them better. And you can, you can see it in there because even in, when you go in there, society outside is different from in there. I mean, people treat each other with respect and they help each other, they're more outreaching. And I just told my wife, I said, it's a whole different world. I wish I would have did this a while ago. Freemasonry is the oldest, largest, and most widely known fraternity in the world. Our diversity and way of life is a part of our strength, allure, and longevity. Men of different backgrounds from across the country and around the world come together as equals and call each other brother. It's just a fantastic feeling when you meet another Mason from somewhere in the world, part of the worldwide brotherhood of Freemasonry. In Edinburgh, my wife and I had, had the uh, occasion to go to a meeting of the Royal Order of Scotland. It's the Chapel of St. John. There was an 18th century organ and the Grand Secretary asked her would you like to play it? She said, well, yes, I played the organ in church. So she sat down, he instructed her, the black keys are white and the white keys are black. He pulled out, the, the, the uh, started pumping and she pulled out some stops and played. And when she got done, he said, Mozart played this organ when he visited this lodge. That was another magic moment that I will never ever forget. And of course, she has washed her hands since then here at Masonic Village they did such a good job with COVID. We, we really came out well. And that's because the Grand Lodge uh, came up with quite a sum of money to make sure that we had the PPEs we needed and they fed us for a month and a half at no cost, delivered to our homes because they didn't want us traveling. Just remarkable, a remarkable example of Freemasonry in action and the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania in particular. Learning the lessons of Freemasonry that are taught through our degrees and through our charges, and you put those to memory and then put them into action, I think it makes you a better person. And you know, at, at my age, I'm happy with how it turned out. Freemasonry also offers many unique opportunities to impact the lives of others. For our Pennsylvania Masonic Charities, you have the opportunity to use your talents and resources to help others and make the world a better place. Whatever your life goals, Freemasonry can help you achieve them. Learn more today.